What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Dugai, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Dugai. And today, um, I'm going to talk about, man, you have the LSU junior and sophomore, um, Javante Smart and Trendon Wofford have both declared for the NBA draft. And they haven't officially declared yet, but it's expected that freshman Cam Thomas and junior Darius Davis will um, declare for the NBA draft also. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, um, so feel free to DM me, and whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Um, come high, at your boy, yo. <coughs> um... Javante Smart had had you know talked to um had put his name in the draft after the last two years also um and Trendon Wofford did last year but the difference is this year it looks like they definitely are going look like they will hire agents so ain't no turning back this time um I'm gonna say this man first starting off with Javante Smart um you know he's been a very very good player for LSU. Um, homegrown. Um, he's improved to me every year he's been at LSU. His game has improved. Uh, like this year, he took a huge jump in shooting the three. I think he shot the three at well over 40%. I think he had the, the number one three point percentage in the SEC shooting the ball. Uh, he, he, he did his thing, man. Um, really, really good player. Really, really good season. Uh, really did his thing against Michigan, though LSU fell short. Um, I, I I would like personally, you know, I don't know these these young men's situate living situations, and clearly the NCAA don't want them to have money. <laughs> Unfortunately, they still gotta live. They still have families. So, you know, taking finances out of it, I just don't add finances because I don't know, you know, everybody's living situation. But just from a pure basketball standpoint, I think Smart should come back one more year, yo. I literally just looked at, you know, a, um, a top 100 NBA prospects for, for 2021. Javante Smart name wasn't even on that. So it's a good chance he could actually go undrafted, you know, um, similar to what Emmett Williams did, you know, to not get drafted, drafted at all. I think he should come back one more year and just consistently, steadily, you know, improve on his game. He's very good, but when they get to the NBA, the thing that worries me with him is he's a little stiff and he's not very athletic and he doesn't play above the rim. He's a big guard. He's like 6'4 and a big guard, so he can overpower smaller guards. So that should definitely help his draft prospects. But, you know, I worry about you know, his stiffness, especially on the defensive end with much quicker, quicker guards blowing by him. And he, he's not very athletic as far as finishing above the rim. But um, I would like to see him come back, man, one more year and just continue to improve and improve. Um, and then, you know, go out next year and hopefully get drafted. But with that being said, I hope he gets drafted. Or if he doesn't, he goes to a situation where there's the NBA overseas, whatever, and really excel as a basketball player. Um, and for Trendon Wofford, I, I honestly think, you know, I looked at a top 100 list, you know, and he was not, he was on it, but barely. He was number 98 as far as overall draft prospects. Now, clearly a guy like Cam Thomas, which when he officially declared, I'll get more into him. Um, but Cam Thomas, I think, should go. He's projected to be a first-round pick, um, borderline lottery pick. He has an NBA offensive skill set already. Trendon Wofford that really doesn't you know he's 6'9 he can handle the ball which is very very impressive but you know he doesn't he, he I feel like with Wofford you know he's 6'9 he's not like 6'10 you know 6'11 or anything like that to where he can just overpower people or be taller and bigger than nobody um so for him I feel like he has to get more consistent shooting the basketball especially um, the three-point shot. Looked like he would be um, a stretch four in the NBA. 
So I want to see him. I would like to see him come back and work on his jump shot. But once again, you know, hey, they may go to a program and and, and figure it out. Um, you know, Darius Days and hasn't officially committed. Um, you know, or declared yet neither. But he's another one I think should come back. Um, it's too. It was too many. He don't create his own offense. Like, you know, Cam Thomas, Smart, and Dwyford created their offense, and they were the only three fellas who that created their own offense. Darius Days is a pick-and-pop type of player. You know, he battles down low on the glass, but he's undersized. He's six, I think he's 6'6". Um, but he's a pick-and-pop uh, a pick and pop player. But I, want, I think he should come back to LSU for one more year. You know, honestly, I think the only one that really should be going to the draft and I think is ready right now is Cam Thomas. Um, I think Smart should come back. I think Waffle should come back. I think they should come back. But with that being said, I don't know these guys' living situations. And it, it's not to say just because I don't think they should go that if they go, they won't be successful. They won't get with a good coaching staff and, you know, maybe even go down to the G League for a little while or whatever, get with a good staff and really, you know, work on their craft. Because, like I said, the biggest thing with Will Wade I had was he ran this Gerard Park offense where – you know, everybody take turns going one on one. They didn't run nothing set, no plays or nothing like that. So maybe they get with a coaching staff that develops them a little more individually. You know, um, especially on the defensive end. Um, but you know, they they go on a. I, I thank them. Um, you know, this season was frustrating at times, but you know it got fun toward the end. Made a run all the way to the SEC championship game in the tournament. Nearly won it. Um, you know, won a won a NCAA tournament game and, you know, played a number one seed in Michigan really, really tough. So I'ma thank them for that, man. I wish them very, very well on their future endeavors, you know, and I hope that they become everything they want to become, you know, in the NBA. Uh but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'ma have LSU and NCAA content throughout the year. Also, this coming Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, 4 Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.